guys welcome back to my channel I've got a video here that I've got to do really really quick for you guys because my guys my husband and my son are downstairs being so quiet giving me a little bit of time so I'm gonna break into um, my I may have a slight beauty subscription addiction if you know what I'm saying so Birchbox I was like because they have um, you know new stuff that I haven't tried and the box that they generally come in I like to save those and spray paint them make them cool um, from all my bridesmaids at our wedding um, that's what their like bridesmaid gift came in so I had a bunch of little cute stuff some jewelry I had made for them and I had spray painted everybody's little box gold and and then like glitter gold and homemade flowers so we went to town on those and they looked really really cute because they're really nice boxes so I never throw away I never ever throw away a birch box box um Sephora always has really great products um things that you can generally easily pick up in Sephora so I like that and then everybody loves the Ipsy makeup bags I kind of already saw on Kelly's channel on It's Just Kelly. Um, I saw her not open it. I didn't watch the video, but I saw the bag. Yeah, and the thumbnail. So now I know I got a black bag in here unless I got something crazy. Come here, you wanna say hi? Plus I am puppy sitting for my sister. She's in Atlanta, so this is Bronco. And now Rico's getting jealous. You can probably see him starting to sneak up there. Come here. <laughs> Come here, say hi. Say hi. So we've got fur babies everywhere. Either way, this should be a fun video. I cannot wait to tear into all of my, my boxes in the bag. I just want to rip them open. I'm dying to see what's in here. So I'm going to do this really quick. So we're going to start with Ipsy. I already know what the bag looks like. Yep, black bag. Just like, this is really nice though. It's texturized. It's not like a boring black bag. Ipsy's are always kind of a little tagged with their brand. Really nice little bag. But it's not just the bag, it's what's inside, but the bag is awesome. So we have the Gelusion Nine Free Cruelty Free Vegan Friendly. So um, I have a vegan sister-in-law. I may just send that to her. Or I may just um, compile all of my uh, cast-offs and gift them to one of you guys and maybe one of my other Etsy bags or if you guys totally dig this one we might give you this one I don't know so next we have the even eye zero gravity volume powder it says it adds weightless volume creates texture and increases fullness I have never put a powder in my hair so that should be interesting I'm keeping that bad boy I'm gonna try that uh, next we have hmm, neogen Dermology. It is a serum in oil drop white trouble. Do, 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 do. How to use after cleansing? Gently apply about two to three drops of oil across evenly across face until fully absorbed. It's a serum. Okay. All right. Next, we have. Some more mascara, Wonderland, Ciate, London. I hope I say half these brands properly. I like the brush head on it. It's really nice. Um, I have a ton of mascara, so that might go with this and giveaways. We'll just have to see what else we got. And some Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm keeping this. I've been wanting to try this. I like the Smashbox stuff. All right, guys, so let's check out what's in the Sephora box. I should have put scissors on it. We're just, I like just breaking into my Sephora box. Just like, give me my makeup now. And Sephora sends you a bag. They're cinch bags. They're not great. Some of them I've gotten have been falling apart, but this one's really nice. This one looks like it's in good condition. And um, we stay in hotels a lot. My husband does, I do for work. So I like to use these because we always take the shampoo, conditioner, soap, all that stuff with us. Most of the time it's really good stuff like Bath and Body Works 
or Paul Mitchell. So we'll take it with us. And then I figure um, one day, you know, maybe my daughter's Girl Scout troop will want to like package all those things up and donate them or take them. I don't know, who knows? So the first thing in my Sephora play bag is the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. And it's waterproof and it's black. I'm so glad they send black. And I've been wanting to try that. So I'm excited. Ooh, no. Gotta have some hair care products. Gotta love them. Yeah, so um, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Oi, oi, oi. Shampoo and conditioner. So it's reparative shampoo and conditioner. So hopefully you guys can see that because I'm never going to be able to say that properly or correct. The next thing we have in our Sephora play bag, and this is usually like the one where I get the products I'm really excited about. Is it Ciata? Somebody, yeah, I'm going to say that wrong. C-I-A-T-E, liquid velvet. It's probably like a matte. But that's pretty. It's a little dark for me. They always send dark colors. So it's pretty. It's a little dark for me, but I may try it on my crews. We have Bleak, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. It's the balm. Yeah. Clinically proven to retain moisture for up to 26 hours. Up to 26 hours. Just in case you get up late that second day, you're golden. It says to put it on your face and neck. It smells good. Doesn't have like an overwhelming smell of anything. Just smells clean, like lotion, my soap. Then we have Blue Tansy Surfacing Clarity Mask. I love my masks. And I'm like the mask queen. Anytime, the mask, mask queen. Anytime um, like we go out of town as a group for work, I always have a lot of masks and like divvy them out. And everybody loves me because they get a little spa night on me. I don't know what this is, but this is really cool. Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. It is from Touch and Soul. And it's really cool. So it looks like the bottom tube is a liquid eye color, which is not very pigmented. So I'm guessing that's why you've got, okay. It didn't look pigmented until I turned it in the light. Now I'm seeing all the colors pop, so. And then you have this the portion. It's kind of like a little scraper tool that you have glitter on. That could be neat. Okay, yeah, so some good stuff in there. One more box to go, guys. The last one. See, this is why I love Birch Box. The boxes are so cute. It's supposed to be that hard. Alright, so here's my Birch Box. Look how cute that is. How pretty. All right, so September's unboxing has been fun so far. We have, I love the fact that Birchbox puts a card in it and tells you what everything is. So we've got the Rascaro Milk uh, Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. And I actually have another one of these in my cabinet in the bathroom. So I like it, I'm not bummed about it. Um, infused with argon, rosehip, and coconut oils. That's probably why I like it. I like anything coconut. This does, th this does it all spray, strengthens, adds shines, and leaves strands feeling oh so soft. Mist from mid links to ends before styling. The next thing we have in my birch box is the Daily Concepts Your Facial Micro Scrubber. So it's basically a pad that you can use by itself with water or with your favorite cleanser and clean morning or night. You can scrub it up, dub your face up. All right, so the next thing we have is the Lord & Berry Strobing Pencil, travel size. It is a pretty color. Basically, it's a highlighter you can use anywhere. It says to dot and blend. That is really pretty, and it is very subtle. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can totally see it. So you can use it, I guess this would be really good to do the corners of your eyes, your nose, your little the cubits, bow, all that little stuff. That would be really great for that. So the next thing we have is somebody, body, some, 
some body body soap. Uh, so this natural body soap is infused with botanical oils that leave skin silky smooth. Lather up in the shower and rinse thoroughly. It's a deal for sensitive skin types. This one may be one I give to you guys as a gift. So the last thing is the Toka Parisian inspired scent made up of grapefruit, bergamot, layers of jasmine, blue iris, and a base tone of, of blonde wood and white musk. And I smelled it. I don't like it. Oh, actually now, now that it's calmed down a little bit, that it's not like fresh out the bottle, it's not so bad. Yeah. Okay, first impressions are not always exact. All right guys, so I hope you really enjoyed checking out these beauty boxes with me. It's fun. Um, my 11 year old sometimes opens them with me and she's just really waiting to see if there's dry shampoo in there because she loves dry shampoo. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my beauty bags and box. Um, okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is find one of the cutest makeup bags that I can find. I think Ipsy did one, if you guys remember a while back, that had like a unicorn or rainbows on it or something. That one's super cute and I don't think I'm currently using it or have used it. So maybe I'll fill it up with, not maybe, I will fill it up with a bunch of goodies. And if you like my video and subscribe to my channel, I mean the videos aren't that bad, right? So like and subscribe and comment below and tell me um, what your favorite product was that I opened out of the box today. I guess for me, how sad is this? I'm most excited about the makeup bag, but after that, it would probably be the Smashbox stuff and the Sephora stuff. So the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and the um, Sephora eyeliner because I've been wanting to try their eyeliner. So those are probably my two faves out of everything. Let me know what you guys like or just tell me how your day was. Whatever. Like, comment, something. Say something to me. Alright, Varco. It's time to say goodbye to everybody. Can you say bye? You don't like goodbyes? Does it make you sad? Maybe they should just watch another one of my videos. Then they won't miss me so much. You are like, seriously, he must be digging my foundation. We're gonna go now. Have a great night. Bye, everybody.